Today on Wood Turning, we're going to be working with a massive piece of Osage Orange. Probably the biggest thing I've ever put on my lathe. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. Some days I really wonder about myself. <laughs> this might or might not work. This giant chunk of Osage Orange came from a friend's property, uh, John Jordan, and unfortunately he passed away a little while ago. And I was up there visiting his widow, helping out with a few things. And she said, hey, there's some wood in the back. And John had felled this giant Osage Orange tree. And so I just had to have it. It was so ugly. <laughs> That's the type of wood I like to turn. But as I'm looking at this, you can see this huge fissure in here. <sighs> that was there when we cut it down. There were black ants coming out of this thing like crazy. I even brought some back to Oklahoma from Tennessee. But uh, on this side, you can see what it looks like. By the way, this is why Osage Orange is such a good thing for making fences and things when uh, people were back in the settling days. Look at the spikes on there. Nothing could get through that. You got to be real careful handling this stuff. And we're just going to snap that off of there. Oh, there it goes. And get it out of the way for when the band saw. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to try to turn this into about a 24 inch disc. Okay, before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors, Robust Lathe and Easywood Tools, because without their support, we wouldn't be here and that'd be no fun. Also, I am an authorized Robust dealer, so in case you want a lathe, give me a call. Now, what I have in my hands is an Easywood faceplate. It's really cool looking because it actually, their jaws expanded to it and hold it, so that's kind of cool. So what I've done, off my very poorly cut out circle here, because I can't see through the bottom <laughs> when I'm doing that. I've got this laid out in pretty much the center. And I'm going to take some heavy duty screws that have really aggressive thread on it. And we're going to use an impact drill to go into here. We're going to put these in. And we want really good contact here. You can see that small crack that I was worried about, can't you? <laughs> This might be a design modification halfway through this project, but we won't know till we get there. And the next step is I got to get this on the lathe. to get this to be a balance. My electric chainsaw broke, so we're using the gas-powered one in my shop. The door is open, and we do have the dust filtration system going. Don't do this at home. <laughs> That's why you watch me. <laughs> You can see, uh, I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> I've actually turned this off. This has a freewheel, uh, American Robust lathe. All the lathes have a freewheel. If you have something really, really heavy, it won't stop it because it would unwind. So it's going to sit here and turn a bit. Um, one way to stop that is I can just probably do this a little bit. There we go. So you can see with the chainsaw, we made this pretty neat into a flat platter and it's kind of in round now. So I'm going to start chunking away on this. This is the bottom. I'm going to put a tenon on here. This is the top. And I'm going to keep my eye on this crack as we keep going because I could wind up with two platters or bowls or whatever this is going to be. And I don't want that to happen. Anyway, okay, I'll get her started up again. Brian's going to get out of the kill zone. Here we go. Thank you. 
So it's taken about <laughs> an hour to get to this point. Did I mention that Osage Orange is a really hard wood? And this one, while not completely dried out, is pretty dry. So slow this down here. Uh, so you can see we're getting our shape. It looks like we're going to be making an Osage Orange Bowl. <laughs> Beautiful look here. I love the grain. I love all the ingrain grain on that too. This is looking good. My cracks seem to be stopping short of center. Let's see one for Brian. See, that's the deepest one. So I think I can actually do a recess on here, which is great because then I don't have to turn this back around to finish the bottom. So once I'm done with this and turn a recess, sand it all up, we're going to flip it around and it's one last step to, send to help to, <laughs> to hollow it out. Can you tell I'm tired? Oh my gosh, it's taking a long time. Anyway, back at it. So I'm doing a little bit of finesse turning here right now. I'm establishing the lip on the bowl. It's take a nice light touch. Turns out when you try to sand, when you try to sand Osage Orange, <laughs> hang on a second here. Use our bowl gouge break. <laughs> it does not want to sand easy. It's tough wood. So. You can see I've got the lip going here. This is kind of nice shape. It gives a little delineation. So I'm going to come in here. It's going to be a lot more to get rid of. You can see the cracks are still there, but hey, it's holding up. <laughs> it's holding up. My tools aren't, but it is. Thank goodness the lathe is holding up too. And man, the easy wood faceplate was fantastic. So I'm going to keep working on this, and then we're going to start hauling it just like you would a normal bowl made out of stone. got this mostly hollowed out now. And I'm just taking my negative rake scraper here to clean up the inside a little bit. So we are <laughs> about six hours into this process. Osage Orange is really tough stuff. So other than some major hand cramps, I'm doing okay. And hopefully we'll be done here in about 30 minutes. I'm just going to continue this, flatten it out, and remove the center here. I can pull the tailstock away in a minute to do that. Then we'll be ready to sand and finish. Okay, so now I'm sneaking up. <laughs> Using my uh, skew as a negative rake here. And I'm just trying to make a pinpoint here because I got to snap this off. But I don't want to snap off into the bottom of the bowl because that kind of screws things up. So I'm leaving a little bit proud here. And the other thing is, I'm going to slow the speed down now because I don't want any wobbling going on while this happens. We were uh, 180 RPM most of the time. <laughs> we got up to 300 recently, but that was about it. Let me get past that little wobble bit. There we go. Now we're smooth. Getting close. Oh. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this was a lot of work. We're already after in the nine hours working on this piece of Osage Orange, which is incredible. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is a piece of crotch wood. It is just amazing. I'm not sure, but maybe we should call this an Osage Orange Jumbo. That'll work. I mean, this thing still weighs about 30 pounds, if not more. And I think that blank was easily 125 pounds now that I look back on it. A oh, lot of work, a lot of work, but this is so worth it. This is so beautiful. Well, that is how you work with Osage Orange. <laughs> Hardest wood on earth. Until the next time on Wood Turning, keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools.